Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kai Styles. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing some products from Flower Beauty. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Kai. I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist and I do live makeup videos from my Facebook page, Kai Styles, pretty much every day of the week. And I post videos here on YouTube of different product reviews and makeup tutorials. If you like videos like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button below so that you can get notified when I post new content. We're going to be doing a first impression slash product review. This is not my first time using products from this brand, but these products, they are new to me. Flower Beauty was started by Drew Barrymore and they make cruelty-free makeup and basically they try to create luxury, prestige quality cosmetics that are affordable. I did already put on all of my makeup today except for eyeliner, mascara, and lips. So the products that I have to try out today from Flower Beauty are the Miracle Matte Metallic Liquid Lip. This one is in the shade Foiled Rose. The Miracle Matte Metallic Liquid Lip retails for $9 on the Flower Beauty website. And then I also have the Eye to Eye eye marker in volumizing mascara. So it's a liner on one side and a mascara on the other side. So it's got like pr pretty thick black felt tip eyeliner marker on one side. And then on the other end, there's a little mascara. It's very tiny. I thought that this was going to be the handle and that the mascara was going to be in there. So uh, very tiny mascara on this end. I did not see this item uh, available on Flower Beauty's website, but you can get it through Ulta and through Walmart. I know that it retails for $11.99 at Ulta Beauty. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyes first. We're gonna come in and use the liner side of the eye to eye eye marker in volumizing mascara pen. Okay, so already this marker doesn't go on very dark. You kind of have to layer over it and layer over it and even then still it's a little opaque. It is easier to work with than I thought it was going to be, being that it has such a large tip on it. I do like that you can come back in with the tip of this and kind of color into the lash line and get that liner deeper into the lash line, because when you first apply it, it doesn't really get down to the lash line, so you do have to come back in and kind of fill that in a little bit. Overall, the application is pretty easy, but it does not go on as dark as I would like it to. Um, I just really like for my liners to be very dark. Um, I was able to create a pretty fine wing there, considering how large the marker is, so I do like that even though it is a large tip, it, it does have a very fine point on it, so you can come in and do a little bit of detail work on it. I do think that the larger shape makes it a little bit harder to work with, especially on the inner corner of the eye, because you're working in such a limited space, it's hard to fit this large point in there and be able to get at the right angles. Um, it is easier if you bring it kind of straight on, because it is pointed at the end to be able to get those detail areas. So overall, the liner is not terrible. It's not the greatest liner I've ever used, but it does go on pretty well. It does not apply quite as black as I would like it to, but you can come back in and kind of layer over it a second time and it will darken up the liner. Overall, I would maybe give this eyeliner pen like a six out of 10, not something that I would go to on a regular basis. It's definitely convenient to have the eyeliner and the mascara in one tube. So this would be something that would be great for traveling or just to like keep on you to be able to touch up your makeup if you need to. Everyday use, that's not really my bag. So let's come in and now test out the mascara that's on here. So this is supposed to be a volumizing mascara. I do like the shape of this brush. I like that it's angled a little bit more towards the tip so that you can kind of get into the lashes. And because this is supposed to be a volumizing mascara, I want to really be able to get into the base of the lashes there. So let's go ahead and do one coat. So 
So that's one coat on that eye. I will say I do like how this brush separates your lashes. Um, so all of my lashes are very defined and separated. And I do like how the brush is tapered so I can get into the corners of the eyes very easily. I'm not real sure about the formula of the mascara yet. I'm gonna wait until I do a second coat to see if it kind of builds up. Um, but so far it's not like a wowing mascara. Like it coats the lashes, it separates them, it does a decent job for a mascara, but it's by no means a wowing mascara. So let's go ahead and pop this on the other side. That's one coat on both sides. I do also like about this mascara, which is something random and I didn't even think about or don't normally think about when I do my mascara, but because this is a short mascara wand on a long handle, essentially, when I have to come over and do this side of my mascara, if this touches my nose, I don't end up with mascara on my nose. And if I was using a longer mascara wand, that is usually what would touch my nose and then I would end up with mascara on my nose there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the bottom lashes really quick and then we'll come back and we'll do another coat on our top lashes. Okay, so again on the bottom lashes, it did a really good job of separating and defining the lashes. Um, but as far as the mascara goes, like that first coat is very light. It doesn't really add volume to the lash, which is supposed to be a volumizing mascara. So let's come in and put on a second coat and see if we can build that up and if we get a volumizing effect out of this mascara. Okay, that's a second coat of mascara on my right eye. I will say that you do get some of that volumizing effect with that second coat of mascara. It starts to thicken up the lashes and give them just a little bit more volume and helps make them look a little bit more full. And I like that when you build this mascara up, it still keeps the separation to your lashes. So a lot of times with mascaras, you come in and you put that second coat on and it just clumps all of your lashes together and you lose all of that separation and all of that definition. This one you don't, it still maintains the separation of the lashes, but it does build up that volume on the lashes. I'm gonna do the other lash here. So far, I don't hate this mascara. Um, it's not the best mascara I've ever used again, but it seems to work pretty well. It does help to lengthen and volumize the lashes, which for a volumizing mascara, it does exactly what it says it's going to. I'm gonna pop a second coat of this on the bottom lashes. Okay, so not so impressed with the second coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. The bottom lashes definitely started to clump together a little bit once you started to apply that second coat. The top lashes, I think it looks really good. I think it wears nicely. I think it thoroughly coats all of the lashes. I think it gives a volumizing effect. Again, not the best mascara I've ever used, but for $11.99 and you get this eyeliner and this mascara, I'm not real mad about it. Um, overall, I would probably give this product like a 7 out of 10. It gets points for convenience because it's two products in one, which is great. It's easy to use. I do wish that this eyeliner went on a little bit darker and that the felt tip was just a little bit thinner. And with the mascara, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say there. It's not a terrible mascara, but it's not a great mascara either. Probably not recommend a second coat on your bottom lashes. So if you're somebody that likes a really full looking bottom bottom lash, this probably isn't for you. But it did perform very nicely on my top lashes. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is lips. So we're gonna be trying out the Miracle Matte Metallic Liquid Lip from Flower Beauty. This one is in the shade Foiled Rose. That's really pretty, you guys. And it applies very easily, like it glides right on. Okay. 
I love the reflectivity on this. I really like this lip color, you guys. It feels very creamy. Like it does not feel dry at all. I love how reflective it is. It's just such a beautiful color, like that beautiful rose gold tone. It's just really pretty. I feel like this would be a great fall color. Um, and I feel like this is something that you could play with with other liquid lips. So you could do a matte liquid lip in like a brown and then use this to like highlight the middle of your lip. I think that that would be gorgeous. As far as the formula goes, I think it's really nice. I think it applies very smooth, very evenly. The color pigment is beautiful. And like I said, it doesn't feel super dry like a lot of matte lipsticks can. Sometimes liquid lips, even after they set, will still smudge around and I wanna see if this is gonna wear well or if it's gonna transfer easily. So I did get just a little bit of transfer off of my lips when I touched them, um, which isn't terrible. And it doesn't look like it picked up all of my color when I touched my lips, so it's still there. So you could probably like be able to eat pretty well with this on and not use a lot, lose a lot of lip color. Um, you, I don't feel like it's one that you'll have to reapply a lot. So those were the two products that we had to test out today. Overall, I would give the Eye to Eye Eye Marker and Volumizing Mascara Duo um, a 7 out of 10, just because the liner did not go on very dark the first time. You had to come back in and layer it up. And then the mascara for me, like, it's just the typical mascara, really. Like, it's a, it's a decent volumizing mascara, but there wasn't anything wow or special about it to me. The Miracle Matte Metallic Liquid Lip, I actually really love. I think that the color of this is beautiful. I think the formula is nice. I think it glides on well, um, and it doesn't feel dry on my lips, which is a big one for me with matte lipsticks. It did transfer a little bit onto my hand when I touched it. So just for that reason, I would give it an eight out of 10. But for $9 for this, I think that's a great price. And for $11.99 for this, it's, it's decent makeup, it's easy to use, and it's affordable. I'm definitely gonna try out some more products from Flower Beauty. I would be interested in trying some of their eyeshadow palettes, some of the other shades of their matte liquid lip, um, and see how those wear. And they also have some liquid blushes that I've been wanting to try, so I may do another trial of some of their products in the future. If you're somebody who's looking for decent, affordable makeup for everyday use, definitely check out Flower Beauty. Like I said, these are not the first products that I've tried from them. I have another lipstick that I've tried from them before and also a um, like tinted lip mask. And I've liked both of those products pretty well too. If you guys have tried Flower Beauty products, Leave a comment below and let me know how you like them. Also, if you know of other brands that are similar to Flower Beauty, where I would love to know about them. I'm always looking for great new cosmetics companies to try out for you guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel below so that you can get notified when I post new content. Also, you can check me out over on Facebook at my page, Kai Styles, and you can check me out over on Instagram at Styles by underscore Kyle. I hope everybody has an amazing rest of their day and until I see you next time, remember to be true to yourselves, be kind to one another, and most importantly, be beautiful. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one.